Welcome to episode 3 of the Super Bowl series. Now, we all know that no Super Bowl party is complete without chicken wings. It's just a staple that you have to have. You're going to start off by placing your clean chicken wings in a bowl and coating them with mustard and hot sauce. Shameless self-promotion, but I'm going to go ahead and use my own seasonings from my seasoning line, but you can use any seasoning of your choice. Add some buttermilk and you're going to mix that all together very well and set that in the fridge for about 10 minutes. After your 10 minutes is up, you're going to take equal parts cornstarch and flour, mix it together in a bowl, and also don't forget your seasonings, the same exact seasonings that you use on your chicken. Give that a good mix and then you're going to start taking your chicken wings one by one and rolling them in the flour and cornstarch mixture. Shake off the excess and drop that chicken wing in some hot oil. Allow it to fry until golden brown, then pull it out of the oil and set it on a cooling rack. And now, a moment of silence for that crunch we're all dying to hear. Uh, that's like the national anthem for fried foods. Now we're going to work on our sauce. Now, I can't exactly give you a specific measurement of anything because I just mix and combine until the ancestors tell me to stop. But in a pan, you're going to reduce some butter, hot sauce, honey, and brown sugar. And once it gets a little thick, you can go ahead and toss your chicken wings in the pan to give them a good coat. This happens to be my favorite sauce because it's equal parts sweet and spicy. Now, to continue on with the personalized plating, you don't have to do this, but it's definitely super cute. And also another way to avoid everyone's hands touching the same tray. But I stole these little fry baskets from Dave and Buster's. Please don't tell on me. Wax paper is from Shein. You're going to stuff your little chicken wings into the baskets and accompany it with some celery sticks and carrots. And you're done. Look at how cute these little personalized baskets are. 